The spread and impact of infectious diseases has increased due to changes in livestock management, globalization, the demand for open housing systems, and climate change. In our global One Health approach, we aim to improve both animal health and reduce or eliminate human health risks arising from livestock and food production. Zoonosis is an infection that, is, that can be transmitted from vertebrate animals to humans. These diseases are on a list of uh, WHO, the World Health Organization, as important diseases that can be a threat for public health. And very recently, in uh, 2018, WHO has added disease X on that list. That used to be a rather vague concept as an uh, unknown unknown that we should be prepared for. But now with the coronavirus epidemic, uh, it has, been, has become very clear put to people what is meant by disease X. We want to develop new vaccination strategies for rapidly evolving or highly diverse pathogens in people but also in animals. It is important to increase animal health because in that way you can also reduce the antibiotic use of other medicines and thereby preventing actually zoonosis or diseases that come from, from animals to humans. We want to know why individuals react differently. With this knowledge, we can increase the health and the resilience of animals. Such an approach has a positive effect on the health of both humans and animals. To make animals more healthy, there are different ways. You can either use uh, a system like here, a high health system, where you have a high level of biosecurity and thereby preventing disease that comes into uh, a farm, but you can also try to increase resilience. With resilience, you're actually thinking of what a pig or an animal needs. By using enrichment or other management strategies like feed, you can change the development of the immune system and thereby changing the disease susceptibility. Animals that are more resilient will also have positive effects on public health due to the reduced emissions of zoonotic pathogens from animal production. Nearly 70% of all recently discovered infectious diseases in humans originated in animals. Well, whenever a new disease emerges, like uh, disease X, it's very important to uh, detect such pathogen as, as soon as possible, before it spreads into the population. Uh, fortunately, we have developed quite a number of techniques to very rapidly detect and characterize a new pathogen, like, for example, PCR detection, uh, whole genome sequencing, uh, and also uh, bioinformatic tools to analyze such a, a detection or such a genome of a new pathogen. The goal is to strengthen the One Health approach and to contribute to the quality of life of humans and animals.